Hello guys and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be doing one specifically for Jace aka Willis who asks if we can uh, give objects health and blueprints and how to do that. So if you've watched my first person uh, single line trace shooting tutorial you will have what we have here. I'm just going to jump straight into that. You'll have a character that shoots with a line trace and can destroy these cubes like so. Now we're going to make it so that it takes a couple of shots to destroy these cubes. Um, the health variable is stored is stored within the thing you're trying to destroy, which in this case is our cube seven blueprint. So let's open that up and look at what we have there. So this die event is essentially just destroying the actor, but we don't want to do that yet. What we have up here is when we so when we shoot and when we hit the cube, we're calling the die event. Now we don't want to do die just yet because all that does is simply destroy it. So actually, we're going to replace this destroy actor with a system that allows us to add a health. Add health. So let's go ahead and add a variable. Um, and I am still getting used to Unreal Engine 4.7 or 7 point something, whatever it is. So I'm still trying to figure out where everything is. So bear with me if I get a little lost. Um, and we're going to do this as an integer. So we're going to create a new variable over here. It's going to be an integer, the variable type integer, and we're going to name this one health. Now an integer essentially just means it can only be a whole number, it can't be 2.3, 2. Point whatever, it has to be 1, 2, or 3, you know, it has to be a whole number. Um, now, but essentially when we call die, we're just going to do a couple of things to this. So by default, let's compile this, and let's set health to 100. So by default, health is 100. So when we call die, all we're going to want to do is, uh, sorry, drag out health first of all, get health, and off this we're going to make a minus, we're going to have an integer minus an integer. So when we call die, we're going to have, uh, let's say we take off 34 health, that way after the third hit it'll be below zero, it should be minus one on the third hit, or something like that. So when we call die, we actually want to set the value of health. So we're going to call set health. And health's new value is going to be health minus 34. So, <laughs> that's a little bit confusing. We're setting the new value of health to what it previously was, minus the number 34. And then that's that. And now, after that, we're going to do a simple check. So we're going to drag off here and do a branch. So, by now, let's say we've hit it once. This is a value of 70... Come on, Joel. 76, 75. A number like that. I'm really not good at maths. I know everyone says you need maths for programming, but shit, I'm terrible at it. Um, okay, so what we have is... Uh, sorry, we have... Health is, is below 100, essentially. So what we want a branch to do is we want to check if this is less than or equal to 0. So if this new value is less than or equal to zero, it means the character's run out of health. And then when that when that event is true, we're going to destroy the actor. And that's essentially it for adding health. Now, if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to change this to something like so it takes you ten shots, let's let's do that actually. Let's change it to ten. So it should now take ten shots to destroy this character. And if I've done this right that should eventually destroy the actor on the 10th hit. It may take an 11th, and if it does, I have a way of fixing that, but let's go and, let's go and give it a shot anyway. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, it took 9. Uh, why did it take 9? Uh, it took 9 because my maths is absolutely terrible. <laughs> but, uh, the principles there for adding health. Uh, you, you saw there that they, the health went down gradually as opposed to just taking a, a one shot kill. Let's drop that back up to oops. Let's drop that back up to uh, 34 and it should take three shots. So one, two. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm really doing something wrong with my maths there. Um, let's just go over that because I don't want to leave you guys uh, without, without that. So that is set to 100. We're taking away. Okay, what I'm going to do actually is instead of calling this on the same event, I'm going to call this on a tick. Now ticks are called every frame. Um, ticks are called every frame. So let's say you're running at 60 frames a second, you're going to have 60 ticks ha happening every second. 
So what we've got here then is every frame we're checking if the health is less than zero. I should have probably dragged it off that. Do you know what? I think this will work and I think I'll be able to not use the tick. Oh, why do I keep minimizing that? I think, yeah. One, two, three. There you go. Okay. Now, just for my own sanity here, I'm just going to jump back into that and see whether I do have to use the tick or not. I think I may have just connected uh, the health up to the wrong section. Ah, I did, and I'll tell you why I did. I'll tell you why it was nine, why it was always one less than we thought. Okay, so when I was checking this here, uh, when I was when I was checking whether this was zero and I was coming off this section, what it was doing, it it was calling this function again, the minus. So when it had already, let's say I'd hit the, I'd hit it twice. On the second hit, it would actually call minus thirty four again. So instead of minus thirty four, it was actually doing minus sixty four each time, and instead of it, do you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was calling this function twice, uh, which is not what we wanted. Um, so that's why it was doing it twice. Now I'm pretty sure. Now we've hooked it back up to die. Oh come on! I'm pretty sure that uh, it will now still take three hits. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. So that is how you had add health to uh, an object. Now, one of the changes. Uh, Sorry about that. When they released 4.7, one of the changes was this node here. So instead of having to call health again, you can actually just call the new variable here. Like that. So that's a nice little change for 4.7. Helps you keep your coat, your blueprints nice and tidy. Uh, I didn't notice that, and I forgot, I've forgotten working in 4.7. Um, you'll notice I'm trying to do most of my videos now in 4.7 to get you, uh, as a learner, used to using this engine uh, and trying to teach myself it at the same time, actually. So that's the simple code there for health, um, and that will take three hits to destroy it. Let's just double check that before I go ahead and break it again. Nope, still there, three hits. Uh, Jace also asked for a, t a tutorial to cover um, shooting with different distances and different damages. Um, and okay, and we're going. We, I'm going to cover that in a different tutorial. Um, and basically, all that we will look at is this value here. So instead of it being a solid 25,000, we'll change that depending on the gun that uh, that the user has picked up. And instead of simply calling die, we're going to check, first of all, whether we are using gun A, gun B, gun C. And then instead of just calling die, we'll simply call a different event. So we'll have uh, damage 1, damage 2, damage 3, and it'll take different amounts of health off. Or we could call die and change this variable. I'll make a variable of this. Um, but I'll do that in another video. This is a simple tutorial for adding health. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any requests, please follow Jace's, uh, Jace's route posted in the comments. I'll get round to it and I'll try my best to make a video to cover what you want. Thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. It really helps me out. And take care and I'll see you in the next video.